Tried to answer with a three of their own, but no. Here come the Bulldogs again. And that'll be an illegal pick set by Derek Running that typical weave action. Now a cutback. A little backdoor play, but a block inside. Good play defensively by Stiff. And then a whistle and a foul on Porter. Uh, wasn't anticipating this type of start. Well, he's seen this offense all year. 61 points on average for a team that shoots just 38% from the field. That's what you want your defense to do, not your offense. That's right. And another shot for Virginia is keeping Old Dominion in it. He has all four points. And don't look now, though. Using the missed shots, it's like a pitcher's duel. Love it. Oh, yeah. Man, like that. I like that. Both these teams are, you know, exceptional in the half-court defense, so you, you really have to do just what McCree just did there. On the line, 11-5 our score, the Bulldogs with the lead. Glad you could join us here on ASN today. Damon Bethea, who Play for both Judd Heathcote and Tom Izzo. That makes me old, Dave. That makes me old. <laughs> little running hook shot that doesn't go for White. And the rebound. A little bit better on the glass, but both of them are. One's left-handed, one's right-handed, but both of them get the job done. Left-handed shot from Boykins off. Screen it comes off, and uh, they gave him a little bit of room, and he knocked down the, the short eight-footer. Um, Making it easy right off the bench. What Coach Jones wants him to do is give this team a spark off the bench. And there you go for him. Two in a row. I mean, he's, he's turning into a regular come-off-the-bench Jamal Crawford type right now, and, and getting, as that's why he's averaging, he's averaging 11 points a game. As you can see, it's, it's fluid. It's in the flow of the offense, and uh, Coach Jones will take that all night long. And Damon, the thing about Tally is he grew a foot in high school, so he's probably still getting used to his body. Yeah, you know, uh, I've known Tally for a while, and in, as a youth, he was a little bit, but he ran into a, he ran into a forest of trees down there. McCree, well, his shot was going to get blocked, so how's that for a bailout throw? What they call the neon green light. Oh, well, he set a record of 73. 73 makes in five minutes? Yes. Nice. So now he's got the green light. And yes, then McCree broke that record with 76. <laughs> so McCree and Caver gives it up on the wing. Tally again, running shot that won't go. Rebounded away by Bracey. Right now it's one shot and done by, for Old Dominion. We Bracey. Bracey, nice. Missing yet another game with that sprained ankle that he sprained against the thundering herd. Yeah, I think uh, Coach Jones has got to um, replace Stiff by, by committee. You know, we've seen him in their man-to-man. -man. We've seen him in their 2-2-1. Two -two now they're in their zone defense right now. Cause only attempted four field goals all year. Wow. Is that four or did that make that five? That was, no, that was fourth. He's good at that, though. That's his He's third. Got, wow. Is that four or did that make that five? That was, no, that was fourth. He's good at that, though. That's his He's third. Got, Southern Miss, they won that game 54-50. That's a typical score this year for the Monarchs. So this 20 points, 11 minutes in, that's given up a lot of... Then the Bulldogs get excited about something they do on the offensive end. Because it's a pride thing per, per player. Um, and any time you can take... It's basically you're turning off somebody's water right now. You know, there's no flow to their offense. Uh, there's no... Alley and, and B.J. Stiff doing a good job. The rest of the team old for the game so far. McCree. Tough shot won't go. Stiff trying to get the rebound, and McCree kept it alive. McCree. Tough shot won't go. Stiff trying to get the rebound, and McCree kept it alive. Fighting for extra possessions. That's what this game is all about. Possessions are limited with two defensive, great, great defensive basketball teams, and possessions are very limited. McCree again. Tough runner. Looking to go to him um, the last, uh, last couple of possessions. Bracey with it. I told you about how many assists he has this year, but his assist to turnover ratio is also spectacular, almost 4-1. to one. 
That's rare inside on these Bulldogs. And Tally having himself quite a day. 11 points already. Uh, so, you know, Tally, you know, one dribble, he's, he's really uh, playing smart basketball. He's, he's seeing um, where he can, uh, you know, break down Louisiana Tech's defense, which doesn't have many holes, and uh, he's getting to his spots so that he can get to the basket. White gets himself down and uh, and just let it come to him and, and you know, go through, let the offense, uh, let the offense just flow itself. Caver's got three turnovers, and the Monarchs have six. Here's Bracey. Pulls up. Tally, the two-pointer for Stiff. He's got seven. Tally has 11. That's all the points that the Monarchs have, those two guys. Uh, yeah, but unbelievable. So the other guys are going to have to figure this out here um, because Tally and uh, Stiff, they, they're good, mostly two good enough players to carry him. But they're going to need some help along the way. You always need third, though. You always need that third-headed, third-headed of, of yeah. monster. Wow. How about that split? <laughs> Bracy gives it up. Tipped away. And he's got nine. Did a great job breaking down Louisiana Tech zone. Anytime you get that ball, they let that ball go in Main Street, and a lot of good things happen. Three-pointer for Boykins. And aggressive outside of that line to keep to help try and soften up this Louisiana Tech defense. Well, chance for the Bulldogs to go to the last shot of the first half. Shot clock and game clock about identical. Bracey will go to work now. And he traveled with it. And that's his Monarchs. They're a team that normally doesn't turn it over very often. McCree hands it off to Boykins. Now back to Bracey. Bracey. Oh, good dish inside. What a good look by Bracey. That way it would have gave Porter a chance to get back to his man and, and he would have been able to stay home. So uh -huh. that's what kind of happened on that on that play right there. McCree. Three-pointer Boykins no good. Light is first. Stiff. Strong. Doesn't get it to go, and the rebound comes all the way out. And here comes Derek Jean. Shot clock. Bracy. Three pointer. Take he could just throw one behind his back. He didn't have eyes in the back of his head, though, and he turns it over again. That is now five turnovers for Caver. Caver's he's, he's really struggling. He's got a couple of offensive fouls and uh, just uh, trying to, you know, he's got to hit singles and he's got to hit singles and doubles. And, you know, obviously, you are, you know, you know the baseball world. Then. Team point lead, the biggest of the day for La Tech. And another turnover. That really was the fault more of Taylor, though. And there goes Bracy to attack at the one initial point of attack. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be very. It's not going to be very good. Gene looking inside again. Tough angle. Good defense. Monarchs haven't hit a field goal this half. There's Tally. And even Tally, who was hot in the first half, can't find the range. And that was a bad outlet pass. Now it's not happening today for Caver. He's 0 for 6 from the field and another turnover. A little dipsy do on the shot to Gene, and he's standing on the baseline. It uh, gets right into one of his, his sweet spots and uh, knocks down the knocks down the 12 footer. Hedging on that ball screen and force Bracy to take a step back. Long rebound, Sherman. Hedging on that ball screen and force Bracy to take a step back. Long rebound, Sherman. McCree hasn't really gotten going here in the second half as just the one free throw. Gene, wow, that was impressive. 
Tally now. Boykins guarding him. That was unlucky for Tally. Yep, that was unlucky. But Tally, Tally and Stiff have, they're getting the matchups that they want to get down and back guys in and because they're, they're so long. Great dish right there by Bracey. Sometimes they, uh, Coach Jones will take that. He's going for the offensive rebound, and sometimes you you, you have to live with those, uh, you know, offensive fouls off the, you know, going after glass. Old Dominion stresses offensive rebounds. They lead the country. They'll they get do. a lot of them back, which is, uh, which is, which is key. Good move here by Gene. Oh, nice no look inside. And Sherman doesn't finish. There's a scrum. We got a tie up. Old Dominion. I'm glad the baby's is doing well. That's always awesome. You know, Gene running the point right now and allowing Bracey to get a little bit of a breather. Yeah, Tally just hit, you know, he just got another floater the last time down for, for Old Dominion. And Tally with 23. You know, point blank for, for Old Dominion. And Tally with 23. You know, point blank. Let's give, uh, let's give Caber credit there. He found him in transition. Baker. Two for three from three-point range. Boykins walked with it. Another turnover. Five against Southern Miss. 0 for 4 from three-point range. And then, when you had a gift, all of a sudden, Old Dominion can't handle it. Yeah, that's just a uh, just slip, slip through uh, Porter's hands there. And that um, no, he had an opportunity to uh, to score over the top. Bracey back in there. So too is McCree. Boykins, McCree, and Bracey. That's a lot of damage done by the Bulldogs today by that trio. Boykins steps back. No. Well, that's no too soon. He got what? a double-digit lead. So now Brandon Stiff, he's out with an injury. Taylor and Porter out with foul trouble. Do you start really going inside if you're the Bulldogs? Uh, yeah, I think here, here comes your first dose uh, with Sherman right now on the, back, on the glass, and he turns and <laughs> shoots it over the top um, with the uh, Old Dominion's home record thus far. Boy, how unlucky was that shot from the wing? A lot of, lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of shots have gone in and out for Old Dominion this half. Uh, Give and go. Ooh. Uh, yep, turnover. It was knocked out of bounds by Old Dominion. He's he's quicker than the referee's eye, but he's not quicker <laughs> than your eye, Dave. No. Brace, is, Brace is quick, though. A little sleight of hand there. <laughs> well, they're really doing everything they can to bottle him up, and still he finds Sherman from three-point range. And that one pulls the Monarchs within 11. Good to see one go down for him. Let's see uh, now with less than six minutes to play. Uh, let's see what the let's see what the Monarchs can do here defensively and as they get back going down here on the offensive end too as well. You know that's the guy they haven't really gone to this half, and that's Eric. McC and Sherman, you know, he, he's punished the rim for that. It's tough to double him then because he always finds the open guy. Yep, you got to go, but when you come back, you, wow, great spin move. Wow. Six seconds on the shot clock. Bracey's got to hurry. Takes a three. Wow. He's hit two today, a high 14 at Charlotte. The answer of a three by Baker, no. McCree. And right now the Bulldogs, they're okay. They're trying to shorten this game by limiting the possessions. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna try to take some air out to basketball and, and play smart basketball here. Nine uh, points in 14 minutes for Porter. He's got touched for a big fella. Again, taking some time off the clock. We're going to go under two minutes on this possession. Gene splits the defense. Oh, boy, that's like a...
today for La Tech. This has been a, a very impressive, and it started with the defensive, it started on the defensive end uh, on things of their ability to to really uh, challenge and, and force Old Dominion to do a lot of things offensively that they weren't used to doing, and, and obviously with their sh Old Dominion shooting woes kind of played in to help Old Dominion, uh, help La Tech uh, come out of here with a victory. Them going too early on with the... Uh, you got to give Old Dominion credit. They're not giving up without a fight. And